Now we've got on the line Zach King, a haunted attraction owner and filmmaker. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Now, the attraction that you own is called The Factory of Fear. Can you tell us a bit about it? Actually, I owned it. It uh, sadly went up in a blaze of glory when it was struck by lightning. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so it's gone now, um, but it was uh, it was pretty cool, I like to think. When did that happen? Mid-2020. Wow, that's quite spooky. The chances of that happening are pretty small, right? Yeah, you'd think. Was that quite a shock to you? Yeah, it was, um, I got a call at like 1, 1.32 a.m. Wow. And I uh, was like, oh, okay, I'm on the way over and I get there and there's like six or seven fire trucks all they had just finished putting it out and i walked up and like everything was gone and it was very surreal and whereabouts was the attraction i mean was it in a theme park or was it its own separate thing it was on a uh a piece of farm property in the middle of nowhere in hamilton ontario wow uh so it was very uh very secluded and like the property gave it a, its own uh nice little spooky vibe yeah what does that place look like now that it's burnt up is it completely gone and no trace of it or is it perhaps even spookier now it's some kind of remains it's gone now um the property was selling to a local television network um so i had to i had to clear out the remains as quickly as possible (laughs) yeah abandoned attractions are quite spooky in their self even if they're not necessarily meant to be a spooky ride at at all because i mean earlier this year i was in a completely random place and there was this abandoned attraction of some sort behind a fence yeah and it just sparks your interest really to find out what was that what happened to it and why is it still there but completely abandoned yeah there's like all you, you know looking at it there's so many stories that just live in the walls and it's uh yeah i agree it's very cool to think about and have you thought about getting back into haunted attractions attractions maybe buying another one or creating another one from scratch i've definitely been thinking about it i currently work for a halloween attraction company uh i don't want to name it um because i don't know if i can but um i'm an artist for another company right now and i'm thinking about opening my own again but we'll see what happens it's a lot of money and a lot of time and what do you think would be the main benefit of opening your own as opposed to continuing what you're doing because working for a halloween attraction company maybe gives you some of the enjoyment you got from owning your own attraction yeah i definitely get um a bit of the same like enjoyment out of it uh but the i think the biggest difference is creative freedom um Mm. when i even when i managed uh the factory of fear before i bought it um i had all the creative freedom in the world i could do really whatever i wanted yeah and here i have to follow a very specific set of uh designs that the creative director gives to me and it's a little bit more uh streamlined than what i'm used to and how hard is it to make a haunted attraction because maybe to make somebody feel an emotion is quite hard isn't it it's hard to make people laugh it's hard to make people cry and it's hard to make people scared presumably yeah it's a it's definitely a lot of uh trying to understand the human psyche and um understanding what like when it comes to fear what the most common uh phobias are and how you can invoke those without uh making it come across as too cheesy like um one of the my favorite ones that i wanted to play with before uh, everything happened was uh, the 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 fear of um, you don't really think about it often, but water and electricity when you see those together uh it invokes its own little like oh my god that's not right yeah and uh i wanted to play with that a little bit um in the design but i just never got the chance it being struck by lightning is kind of spooky in itself isn't it yeah it definitely is (laughs) it's some divine occurrence of some kind yeah you're also a filmmaker mainly doing horror so to what extent has working on horror attractions helped you with making horror films oh Oh, it's definitely helped me a lot. Um, I started working at the Haunted Attraction uh, when I was 16. And uh, just going through those years, learning what scares people and how to unsettle people. 
um it really helped especially like when it comes to the effects and making something look really cool yeah um i like to think my what little special effects i do uh turn out very nice um but creating an atmosphere uh understanding understanding the psychology of the scare all that is super important to yeah. both uh both uh platforms and how do they compare to each other because on the one hand they can be very similar in terms of both of them are putting on a show of some kind and then on the other hand they're completely different mediums one of them you're surrounded by stuff a lot of the time and the other one it's just what is in the camera frame yeah for sure i think uh, the working at a haunt, um, the show is entirely interactive and what the guests give you is what directs how the show's going to go. So like, um, if a guest, no, uh, no sell, like they don't get scared at all. Mm. Uh, you know, you can sit there trying to scare them for, for five minutes and then it doesn't work and everybody's just kind of disappointed. Yeah. Or you can work with that and improvise. And I find when, or I found when you can't scare somebody, it's actually really good to give them a laugh mm. because you can't scare everybody, but you can entertain everybody, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Horrors can be unintentionally funny, either if they're really bad, like so bad it's funny and you're laughing at it, or sometimes people have a little chuckle to themselves at the other people in the cinema jumping. Yeah, I with with film, it's just... You you know you there's so much planning and but at the end of the day what you what you put out you can't you don't know how anybody's going to react i think yeah. nobody wants to make a bad film yeah but uh it happens yeah. <laughs> unfortunately a lot and it actually happens to some of the best filmmakers occasionally doesn't it yeah for sure uh and that's kind of unfortunate when something so big and uh eventful is uh, a huge disappointment and what was it that made you want to get into all this horror stuff in the first place when i was a kid my mom uh i never really watched like the disney films uh i i think i don't want to say one of my first films but one of my first memories is watching nightmare on elm street uh and then not being able to sleep because of it even though my mom's sitting there laughing because it's it's really funny (laughs) (laughs) i just i was i was brought up on it and it's kind of funny because my brother uh he's the exact opposite now he avoids the horror genre like like the plague Wow. But uh, I I love it. I just, uh, I can't get enough of it. And how are you spending Halloween this year? Up to anything fun? I'm working, doing the new Halloween attraction. I'm part of Ooh. just doing event management. But uh, for Halloween itself, uh, I'm hoping to uh, to just enjoy the season and maybe watch some, some good spooky movies. Yeah. What else is coming up for you as well? Do you have films that you're working on that will be out soon yeah we just got accepted for our new film blood and justice uh oh. to the hellbound uh film festival that's at the end of the month um and then we have a feature film coming uh called jim's room we're still trying to get it into festivals but uh we're hoping it's other otherwise it's coming soon too uh online stay tuned to our socials for info on that excellent well where can we keep up to date with you and find all your socials my personal socials it's at zick kang um so just replace the a and i uh switch them around (laughs) and then uh all my socials are uh for the factor of fear i believe are just uh at factor of fear Excellent. Well, many thanks for coming on today. It's been great to talk to you. Yes, thank you for having me on.